All right, as you can see, I have fully disassembled my laptop again. And I did apply last time new thermal paste, but it looks like I left there's some spot that was missing and there's a little too much on the GPU look like on this one. You can see it better. So I'm going to apply new thermal paste and going to carefully look up how much you should put onto it. And I also going to mod some cooling holes like I'm going to make these bigger and put these over. And um, I'm going to make here one so the fan actually can pull air in from there. And I'm going to clean this out, increase the size, maybe increase the size. I'm going to look that up what I should do. But I'm going to try to decrease the temperature of my CPU because it's in the 90s now when running CMU and stuff. So I got to decrease that somehow. There's my 2630QM. And um, yeah, I will show the progress of how I did the cooling mods and if they improve. So I laid the cooler on top. And you can look through the cooler, so you can look through. And I aligned this gate that I'm going to use to sit perfectly under it. And I uh, put this over my motherboard and stuff so it doesn't um, get dust and stuff. And now I'm going to Dremel it, so let's see how it looks after. So now I used the Dremel to make this hole and I hand sandpapered it. And now I can lay this from the top and you can see it fits perfectly. And I'll just secure it in place. And then I have a grill on the bottom of my cooling van. The gate is now glued in. It's really firm and I put like this um, dust protection over the van so there's no dust coming in because this looks dope but I think the holes are pretty big so I put that on here and it sucks it up. So on the top I just leave it like it was. Here I put that and that should be golden. So let's see what we can do. Maybe I put some foam around it so there's no dust coming to the sides of it. But I will, yeah, I will probably do that. I will put like some foam around here. Yeah, should be good. So I applied this Arctic Silver 5 on my CPU and GPU, even though this GPU won't be used because I have an eGPU, which also has Arctic Silver 5 in it, by the way. Okay, the laptop is slightly assembled now. Now I'm going to show one more thing that I've done a while ago back. Maybe this gives you an idea. But uh, this is the DVD tray and I got to turn the lights on. Hang on. So here's the DVD tray and you can see the switch here. And I did this years ago, but I put a switch here. that And the cables go in the front, like here. I'm going to keep the light on for a second. And one goes here under the SATA ports that goes under the motherboard and comes out here as negative and one lead goes here under the motherboard comes out here and this connects to the USB port so one is this, this is positive and this is negative I think this is from the USB port and this is from 5 volt in, I used the multimeter to find that and this gives around 5 volts on this which I can toggle with the switch in the DVD tray which is here and that way I bought a keyboard that has backlit and I soldered this, wire, this pin to it. So now I can use this keyboard because it works on my laptop, but also uh, get it light, light up. So I disassembled this keyboard as well, put some transparent foil, you can see some green there. I put some green transparent foil under it, you can see it also here. And if I turn that on, the keyboard lights up in green so I will showcase that back later also on the this is the top of the laptop as you can see I put a uh, green foil behind everything that lights up like this and that makes it and also on the touchpad green and yellow combinated so I get my perfect green that I like not this green but green and yellow together and I will show that that, that gives a really good it looks crappy on the back side, but the result is perfect. Also, I have uh, green here, but yellow on top of the LEDs. So green and yellow again for the power LED, uh, LEDs. And that get, that basically concludes how I lap mod at my laptop. The keyboard has also green and yellow foil under it. You can see the van is reinstalled. I cleaned it as good as I could. Under it, you can see the grill. It's all installed back. If I flip the laptop over, you can see on the bottom, it now has that. So 
Let's hope this cools everything down. Let's. This is quite a difference compared to the 90 degrees that I was running earlier this day. So, look, at the moment there's a cooling open up here, and usually there's a keyboard up there, so that might influence a lot. And there's stuff above here, so I really hope that this might be just increases by 6 degrees. And I am be in the 70s, like I am, I'm in the starting of 70s, I would be in like 75, 78. But I was running 88 to 90 this, mo this morning. This is crazy. Oh. And it's pretty fluent too. If you ever disassemble your laptop, look where the BIOS battery is, the CMOS battery. Because mine is directly located under the keyboard. And this was covered up with some black foil like you can see and I cut it out. So now I can access the battery just by removing my keyboard. And what I do is I put some electrical tape over it, a big one, so it's uh, not making any short circuit or stuff. But when I remove, when I need to reset my bias, which I occasionally have to do because of the GPU, I just pop out my keyboard, pull that off, take the battery out, put it back in, tape over it, keyboard in, and I'm reset instead of having to disassemble the whole laptop because this was not some tape. It was really like massive black stuff and I just cut it out and that makes life so much easier so keep that in mind you can see what I was talking about about the green and yellow the light of course looks a little, little different on video but you can see everything used to be white there was no backlit keyboard at all so everything that used this it was like this but only with this white and now I can open a DVD tray toggle the switch and my keyboard lights up as well and that looks really good so that's the lap mods that I've done. And let me turn the screen on. My laptop is powered on. And it's still working. And the van on the bottom is there. And now I'm gonna try out to see what the performance are is with an eGPU connected, which I don't have at the moment. I'm running on battery even. But look at the temperatures. Isn't that dope? I really hope this made some 10 or 15 degrees improvement, that would be amazing. So this is what the bottom looks of the finished product, the eGPU connector is there, the CPU cooler, looking dope. And let's see what the results are. Boys and girls, I'm back. It took me hours, hours, but look at my temperature. It's in the 80, so 78 to 80 degrees, it's, if I... I just started and it was like on the low 70s, but it gone up to like 80 and this is like where it sticked at, uh, sticks at. This morning I had 90, 88 to 94 degrees on Simu and now I'm running 78 to 80 degrees. Now I can enjoy Simu without my CPU dying of temperature. Like many of you said, my temperature is much too high. No, it's not anymore. I hope that it would make some difference, but I didn't expect it to make such a difference, really. I thought maybe three, four degrees, but this is like 12 degrees lower. That's sick. So not just did I get my Simu playable, but also my temperature is now reasonable, so I can really play this without my computer dying on me. Well, thanks for watching, bye.